Hi everyone! Sorry, I know I was running a little bit late, but I came in here after doing my normal stuff and I realized I didn't set up my little camera and I'm like, oh, well, that's that's missing. And then, yeah, anyway, lot, lots of chaos, but we're here now, so hello everyone. All right, let's go ahead. Let's see, make sure we're in live chat. All right, let's go ahead and scroll up and see who is here. First things first, we have Mona. Hi, Mona. His favorite beverage is hot chocolate. Very nice. Alex, hello. Tanya, hello. Favorite is eggnog. Do you put anything in your eggnog? An eggnog latte? I'm gonna be honest. I have never had eggnog. I don't think I have. Let's see. Oh, Mr. Mona's birthday. Very nice. Let's see. Apple cider. It's, it's classic. I love apple cider. There's my panic. We'll be starting shortly. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Let's see. Kenny, good morning. Linda, good morning. Prosecco. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Penny, good morning. Let's see. Wait, Noelle. Did I miss someone? Maybe that's somebody's other other name. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Uh, Don, good morning. Megan, hello. Make sure I'm not missing anyone. Shannon says winter spiced cranberry sprite. That actually sounds really good. Is that like a specialty sprite that they come out with during the holidays? Let's see. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Ooh, I hopped down. Tech Gal says cold cranberry ginger ale, hot apple cider. Ooh, I like it. You've got one for both. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Oh, come on, button. Let's see. Callie, good morning. Ch -ch -ch Kara, good morning. Minty, good morning. Once in a while, I had a shot, mostly just eggnog. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, I think I'm all caught up. Hello, everyone. I don't know why. Like, I know, I know I haven't seen you guys like in a little bit, but like on my side of it, all prepping for the mood, things are starting to get uh, very busy. But we did have a good, uh, a good Thanksgiving. Sorry, I was sweeping the pencil shavings off. Uh, we did have a really good Thanksgiving with the kiddos and, and everything. And uh, since it turns out that we are going to be here for Christmas, we got uh, everything Christmas decorated and and whatnot. But I will say my brain feels totally scattered today. Um, but yeah, mostly just all of that. I have been working on a few pages in the book when I uh, when I have time. Oh, that's the other thing. The designs for uh, the sticker club that's going out uh, on the first or I guess going out on the second um, that's up on my, on my Kofi. They're all, uh, winter themed. Hi, Suzanne. But we're going to be working on this barge today. But what I have been working on on the side is this one here. I've posted a few reels. The one I posted yesterday was with the waterfall. And my idea was to connect all of the little houses. I'm kind of wanting to do a background, but I haven't decided Wait, what did you order? I feel like it was probably something that we talked about. What did you order? Five more of these? Because everyone should have five more of these. <laughs> Let's see. Um, oh, and during Christmas. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, so I've been working on... Oh, that was the Lyra. Awesome. I love it. Um, but yeah, so I've been working on this page just a little bit. Um, debating about... I've been listening to... Gosh, I have so much to share. Anyway, we'll talk about it in a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I was working on that. And then I think I think I showed you guys everything else. Yeah, I think we're good there. All right, so let's that's our ducks. Let's flip on over to where was our barge? Oop, there's the barge. Um, hi, Natalie. 
so we're still going to use the light fast. And I think we can continue to use it for the rest of the boats rather than just doing one boat. We'll make it easy today. I'd work on the other page, but I really need to be able to think about what I'm doing on that one. <laughs> a lot of times I don't necessarily need to think quite as much. Um, but yeah, for that one, I want to be able to... Right, yeah, you know, you're going to love them. Absolutely. The Lyras are amazing. Okay, so let's see. Purple is what I'm going to use. Purple and then... Let's do Heather. I'm trying to remember what I used before. And then let's pull out Midnight Blue. Um, but yeah, so I have been listening to Straight Down the Rabbit Hole. <laughs> I went. Uh, well, first of all, if you uh, use Audible, the sale might still be going on, but oh my word. And I posted about it in uh, in Discord and I had messaged a couple people, but um, if you like Audible, they had... Like, I know that Cyber Monday and Black Friday, they're just not really the same as they used to be anymore. Um, hold on, let me move this so I can hold up. Anyway, they're just not the same as what they used to be. So sometimes it's hard to find a decent deal uh, for Black Friday and stuff. But, oh my gosh, Audible... <laughs> Pentel, Audible, and I like I said, I think it's still going on. At the time when I got my books, it had like four days left on it. So today might be the last day. I would just go to like Audible's website, but massive discounts, like massive, massive. It was insane. Like some books were as low as like two dollars or two dollars and some odd cents. Anyway. Um, so I might have gone a little bit nuts. I shared a screenshot with uh, Angela with all of the books uh, that I got. But like, it was insane. <laughs> I'll finish your boat if you finish these lily pads. Uh-uh. I like the boat. You're on your own with your lily pads. <laughs> um, oh, my phone's not on silent. But yeah, so Audible, if you are listening to them, uh, be sure... This is all off. Um, be sure to check it out because there are loads and loads of discounts. But one of the things that I got, um, where it's been on my own personal li uh, wish list for a while, just because I don't know, it's classic, and I felt like at some point, as a fantasy reader, at some point I should read it. Uh, it was on sale for Cyber Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But isn't it still going on to... It might have ended yesterday. All I know is when I got it this past weekend, like there were four days, four days on the sale. So uh, if you have, I mean, probably wouldn't hurt to pop out over there. Uh, thanks, Kenny. Uh, but anyway, so long story short, I got a ridiculously good deal on uh, the Andy Serkis uh, narration of Lord of the Rings. Now, of course, I've seen the movies like loads of times. Um... I've never like sat down and like read the fist. Thanks, Don. Read the physical book of any of the Lord of the Rings books. I just I don't know. I have a really hard time reading physical books. What with time and attention span and everything else. But the audible books are nice because I can just listen to them either while I'm coloring or working or doing chores or whatever else. So I've been listening to that book. And so I was thinking with that page that I was working on with the little islands, I was thinking how pretty if I could do... Have you read The Hobbit? I haven't read The Hobbit. I've seen all of the movies and Steve has read them, um, but I haven't read, uh, I haven't read The Hobbit. So yeah, I mean, obviously I'm learning that there's a lot. I just start with The Hobbit. Well, I mean, I know what the premise is. I know what the premise is. And there was a cartoon that came out back in 19... 1986, which was slightly more accurate to the book than the movies were. But here's my thing. I got the first two books. So I got the the Fellowship of the Ring and the Two Towers. And it helps that I know what's going on. But my goodness, if I was reading these books like myself rather than listening, them, I don't know that I would make it through it. Like, it's just it's it's. The, the, uh, first of all, Andy Circus cannot sing. So when it comes to all of the songs in the book, in the books, I generally have to skip over the songs because they're just very long. And then there are certain points in the books where, uh, the author really lays on the details thick and I kind of, uh, you know, that glazed look, I get that a little bit. 
read them or seen them twice? Oh, thanks, Kenny. Um, but yeah, so I got the first two books. I don't know that I'm going to get the third one. Oh, you've read them twice. Nice. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to get the third one. Only, I don't know, part of me wants to see what else they left out because there are definitely some things that I'm learning versus the movie. Like Gandalf, he's a little self-absorbed. And he's very angry all the time. Like they say in the book, like he's quick to anger, which he is. He just seems annoyed with everything. But like there was this part. Okay, so you, so obviously most of us have seen the movies. You know the part in the movie where uh, Arwen takes Frodo across the river and then she does her little magic spell and everything. And uh, it makes these horses come up out of the river and it takes care of the rain race. That's pretty, pretty-ish close i will say that they definitely shortened a lot of the trips for instance the time when gandalf leaves the shire to go read about the ring after frodo gets it it's like 15 years it is not like seemingly a week or so when when gandalf comes back i'm like okay uh also you uh you don't meet tom bombadil in any of the movies but i kind of get why because i feel like his character they <laughs> walk too much. Well, they can't exactly ride a horse as it is. They have to get rid of Bill outside the mines of Moria because it's not a friendly pace for a pony. And then Bill just takes off because the big squid thing in the lake. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but um, there's this part. It, it happens a little bit differently in the book, but the, the idea is the same. There's the there's the river horses that take over the ring race anyway. Um, Frodo's back in, uh, could ride the water critters. <laughs> it's not a terror. Take the eagles, man. He said fly. Um, anyway, when, when Gandalf catches up with them in Rivendell, he, he's talking about, you know, why he was delayed and everything. And apparently part of it is like, he gave a letter to the innkeeper and man, Gandalf just rips into how inefficient this innkeeper is by not sending Frodo the letter, which I get. But then he's like talking like, oh, I know all this stuff was happening to you, but did you see the horses that I added? Because he talks about how he added, uh, you know, his own touch to the spell. But he's just like, did you see it? Did you see what I did? And I'm just sitting there thinking like, Frodo's like in, in bed. He just died from, or he, he just got better from almost dying. And you like want to make sure that he saw the fancy ponies that you put in the magic spell. I'm like, oh my gosh. Anyway, the characters are all just a little bit different. And of course, there's some scenes that uh, we don't normally see. But um, yeah, it's a little eye opening. But I think I'll need to take a break after this book uh, and read something a little bit different because it's it's a it's a bit of a trudge. There are some some very slow points, but it's nice knowing all of the different things that didn't make it into the movie. That's kind of like almost backstory. Like they do uh, Galadriel's gifts in the movie, but it's all much more detailed. And the buildup, let's see, we're gonna use Heather. The buildup to Boromir's kind of betrayal of sorts. Um, I haven't quite got to that part, but it's uh, I'm at the parts that are leading up to it. It's interesting how much more like twitchy they make him, like how much he's being affected by the ring. Anyway, it's, it's really interesting just to compare it uh, to the movie. I definitely recommend reading them at some point. Maybe not like back to back to back because I do have a tendency like I want to finish an entire series. One second. Sorry, I just had to clear my throat real quick. Um, but yeah, so it's been interesting. Yeah, much, much more detail. It's interesting though. I don't feel like the movie was lacking for having removed those details. For instance, um, you know, I read all the Harry Potter books as a kid and then I went and saw all the movies and I remember like being really irked in like book four, like all this stuff that they left out. I don't feel that way about the Lord of the Rings. I think they did a good job of keeping it concise and keeping the speed of the uh, of the movie going, because I'm going to tell you right now, if they had included Tom Bombadil and all of his singing, like it would have. I thought about that, Chelsea. Hi, Callie. Uh, I thought about that. I seriously did because the Cimmerillion was also on sale and I kind of want to, I'm going to use Midnight Blue now. I kind of wanted to compare it to 
Although I know that the series that Amazon came out with isn't, is it following it word for word, obviously. Um, yeah, I've thought about it, but I'm just like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit of a trudge. All right, uh, let's get, do I want turquoise green or let's get light aqua. So yeah, I'll take a break after this one and read something that's a little bit faster paced and then I'll go back to two towers at some point. Cause it's not like it's a big mystery. Like I know what happens. Hi Celeste. See, Steve loves it. He loves that stuff. He's got the hardback books that he's been, uh, that he's been going through. So yeah, it's interesting though. I keep texting him. I'm like, I can't believe this happened. <laughs> and he's like, yeah. But, um, yeah, it was all really good. Read the whole of The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. I allowed to my sons at bedtime. It took about five years. Oh my gosh, that would do it. Uh, yeah, Steve's been reading uh, The Hobbit to to the kiddos, you know, a chapter every now and then. But yeah, it uh, it's interesting for sure. I think I need to at least read them, you know, read them all once. But uh, yeah, so Audible. Massive sale and it was glorious. But yeah, so how was uh, how was everybody's these weekend? Ours is mostly um, yeah, just busy getting ready for the move. Um, our old car, we hadn't sold it yet, but I don't want to I don't want to take it with us where we're going. So yesterday I worked on detailing it and getting it photographed and getting it put up for sale. So that will hopefully happen sometime later this week and we haven't nailed down a place yet but we are planning on having um doing some viewings this coming weekend on top of finally getting those family pictures done because i have not done them yet but i did finish uh like i said the sticker designs for december so those are going to go out let's see when does the second fall? The second falls on a Saturday. So those will go out uh, Monday. Those will go out Monday. And I've already started working on January sticker club only because I know we're gonna be busy with the move. That and I had an idea that I really wanted to get down. So I have like all of the quick sketches done. I'm just trying to figure out like the color palette before I really start um, wrapping them up but january's is going to be like a mail or a pen, pen pen pal themed so there's gonna be you know like little stamps and envelopes and parcels and packages it's gonna be cute i'm excited to uh to finish that one up and i was thinking for the uh free download for the coloring page uh i want to do like a really nice mailbox that maybe has like some flowers going up like the leg of it and so it's gonna be like a floral mailbox thing i don't know i haven't sketched that one out yet <laughs> right and that's the way it usually uh that's the way it is a lot of times but yeah i uh like i said it's been it's been slow going but i'm like i said i'm already almost done with um with fellowship and then there will be the two towers, but we're going to take, we're going to take, I was surprised though. Like when I heard that Andy Circus was doing a rendition of it, like, I was like, oh, so cool. I'm still waiting. We haven't really officially met Gollum yet. So I'm waiting to see if he does his uh, Gollum voice for it. And it's really interesting, uh, especially when they have the meeting in Rivendell about the ring and what they're going to do. Of course, we've got all of the the main characters are there and it's really interesting because andy circus actually does a really good uh sean bean impression he uses the same accent and inflection same thing with like legolas they they chose him well but i was really surprised like after listening to it for a little bit i went and looked at the reviews just to see kind of was assuming that everybody um oh i'm so glad um I guess because I really enjoyed it. Like it was just kind of crazy that he was doing. I'm like, okay, well, I want to look at the review. Surely like people are as equally excited about it. I was surprised. Like it's got a lot of great reviews, but I was surprised. Like a lot of people were salty about him and the way he did it. They said he was overacting, yada, yada. But I tried to listen to the first guy that originally did it. This is Merlot. 
uh, I tried to listen to the first guy that originally did it and it was a bit more of a drag. Like I almost need, like if it truly is overacting, I almost need the overacting to make sure that I'm staying awake during it. <laughs> Aw, thanks. Yeah, I'm just kind of trucking along at a bit of an even pace. Let's see, let's also grab salmon. But um, yeah, so I was surprised that not everybody, not everybody loved it. I thought he did a really great job. Of course, I mean, I know it's hard to keep everyone happy. All right, let's grab Merlot again. And Van Dyke Brown. There we go. And what did I use over here? Oh, I use salmon. So let's go ahead and blend it like I did before. Oh, fun, Callie. I know this book has been so I've had like no desire to pick up any other book at all. There we go. Let's see. I want to get this one just a little bit darker and we can darken up kind of this top part to match just a bit. So let's grab purple. Right, Suzanne? I know, it's been so fabulous. I know uh, Johanna had a post this morning, but I wasn't able to listen to it. I only saw uh, the kind of flip through of all the pages, but there's some sort of Christmas. I don't know, Suzanne, did you watch uh, Johanna's um, reel this morning? I know she was clicking through and I know that she was talking, but um, Steve was in a meeting, so I couldn't have the sound on and I was kind of scrambling to get... Uh, stream set up this morning so what was it she was saying about it is it just like a challenge to color a page in there a day or something you did okay tell me tell me guys now i'm curious I, I mean i'll go and watch it obviously but i wasn't able to watch before i got on <laughs> i don't have any of the mythographic shannon so i mean yes i'm so excited <laughs> I watched the new version of it with, um, was it Tim Timothy Chalamet or something? Ah, okay, okay, okay. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. The good news is, is the kids are getting more excited about the move. They're still a little apprehensive. And I think part of that is because we haven't picked a place yet. We've been We've probably been a little bit too picky and I think we may need to let some of our uh, wants for a place let it go a little bit. Because we're like wherever we go next, it's not going to be our forever home. We're going to buy eventually, um, but we don't know enough about the area to commit to buying a place right now. Um, but I think because we haven't chosen a place yet, they're feeling um, maybe a little uncertain. They're getting more excited, but I think that they will be more excited once we choose a place. So I know we need to get on that. Fairy Wonderland. Ooh, okay. 10 minute live every day in December. Interesting. Well, heck, I'll be there for that. It's such a speed run. I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> I try to keep it down to like a certain amount, but <laughs> it's too hard. Hi, Leslie. Yeah, I'll have to go listen to her, or listen to her, or read her post and see see what she says. Like I said, I just saw it in passing while I was scarfing down some some breakfast this morning, but I did get my coffee, so that's good. <laughs> oh gosh gosh 10 minutes a day i'm trying to think like if i wanted to film that i probably need to do it like do youtube and then like put the names and stuff that'd be a lot of editing i'm using heather and i used purple there a second ago we might actually use a little bit of a stronger magenta just so that these stand out from the boat just a little bit more so let's use cherry red But um, yeah, we're gonna start click getting some boxes. Hi, Sheena. We're gonna start getting some boxes and start getting stuff packed up. So I'm gonna need to decide what pencils I want to leave out for, uh, for the trip. The duration of the move. 
I suppose if it really comes down to it, I could always live stream on my phone, but I'm just like, uh, I like all my bells and whistles. <laughs> Oh, I can't get it done in 10 minutes. Can I do 30 minutes, please? 30 minutes. Okay, I can I can do it in 30 minutes. Tell me I can't add all my shading. <laughs> uh, yes, Leslie, I will. Yeah, we'll still be in Texas. Um, there's, there's a general area where I can safely say where we'll be. But since we haven't chosen a place yet, because we may get, you know, a place in the surrounding area, this is light, uh, light aqua. So I can't say for sure where we're going to be yet, but hopefully I will have that answer by the end of the week, beginning of next week. I mean, we've only got like a month until the move. So yeah. <laughs> then you cannot participate. Stick stuck out. No. <laughs> oh no, you can't do it. I like all my time. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna move to Tennessee. It's totally cool. Steve won't mind the commute. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Just using a little bit of Van Dyke Brown. We'll just do joint streams all the time. <laughs> I know it, Callie. And it's like part of me, part of me is like still kind of come. I haven't packed up anything yet. And like part of me, it's it's almost like difficult to believe that it's happening because I haven't started packing up yet. But it'll probably become more real once we start, you know, putting it all together and whatnot. Obviously, we'll still do still do Christmas here, but we're gonna have to clean Christmas up pretty quick. I mean, I usually clean it up after Christmas anyway, but and the tea in Tennessee. <laughs> Hi, Marilyn. Okay, um, let's do let's do these little plants, and then we'll do we'll do the water. Um, let's see. I got like a little bit of a terracotta. Let's grab Ruby Earth. <laughs> see, I haven't really done uh, sweet tea down here. I don't know. Uh, okay, terracotta, and then let's get dusky pink. <laughs> Such thing as too much sugar and tea. Oh goodness. There we go. All right, and then let's do a little bit of midnight blue. Okay, and then let's grab turquoise green. <laughs> they didn't do it right. Oh gosh. Okay, and then let's do let's do Merlot in this little pot. There we go. A little bit of dusky pink. <laughs> Chelsea. Uh yeah, that's not not necessarily a good thing. That would probably be a bit much for me as well. So you're not alone. Uh, let's see. Let's do midnight blue again. A little bit of turquoise green. Okay. Now let's see. I feel like green's going to clash a little bit with the teal of the boat. Let's do, let's do racing green. This one. Yes. Racing green. Why is my phone going out? Okay, we're good. Okay, uh, let's see. Racing green. There we go. Still got kind of a a cool green color. There we go. And then let's go ahead. Should we do light all cloud? Mm -hmm. They shouldn't be crunchy. <laughs> yeah, it probably shouldn't be crunchy. I'm gonna go on, on the side of no crunch in my tea. Uh, let's do grass green. It's very light, not like a super bright green. You guys, my foot's asleep. This is what I get for sitting crisscross applesauce in my chair. <laughs> Sounds good, Angela. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you. Oh my gosh. So 
Um, everybody has been loving the um, small victories videos on my Instagram. And I could have swore we just hit 19, but it's already up to 19.4. So I was trying to think, I was trying to think of what I could do to celebrate that. Cause I was, I had put in a post like, oh, we should do something special for 20K, which we absolutely should. <laughs> right, Suzanne? I mean, unless you're doing your best impression of, uh, of a cat. Uh, <laughs> but I was thinking about it because I was organizing what with the sticker club already being printed and ready to go. I was organizing everything. And I realized that I have at least one full sticker sheet left over from each month. Usually I have one or two extras. Um, and so I was thinking, how fun would it be? Let's see, we're using Racing Green. How fun would it be is if, cause there's gotta be like, how many is it? there's like five, five or six sticker sheets since I started it. Um, I was thinking a fun giveaway prize for that would be one of each of the, um, 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 uh, the sticker club sheets. Don't care for hot tea either. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like, I love coffee, but I don't like, I don't like iced coffee. Or maybe like, I don't know, it's hard because I want to do it. Um, you should know I'm drunk a lot. <laughs> I want to do it so that everybody uh, can participate and the stickers are the easiest way to do that. Because those are only available at the tier three level. So I'm like, well, that would be kind of cool if I did a uh, giveaway for the sticker sheets. Drink, drink, drunk. <laughs> Uh, let's see, a little bit of mustard. And then let's grab the salmon. Would I do it live? That's what I'm thinking, but that makes it kind of, since it's for Instagram, I might do it over there because I feel like it wouldn't be fair to those that like aren't in the right time zone for the live. So I would probably do it over on Instagram and then people could comment and then uh, they could win the prize that way. And yes, I know I'm using a white Prismacolor, but it's because I don't want to use up. There's, it's a lot easier to get an extra 12 pack of, of uh, white Prismacolors than it is to replace uh, the white in here. So I'm trying not to use it if I can help it. <laughs> it's because in my head, Shannon, I said it like uh like they do on uh the grinch drink drank drunk <laughs> hi marina oh from stockholm very nice so yeah i heard it in the uh mr grinch song because it's stink stink stunk all right that was racing green a little bit of grass green let's get some turquoise green too there we go. All right, use our little blendy blend blender. All right, well, aside from adding a little bit of blue on the water, I think this barge is just about done. So let's grab sapphire. Just a little bit. Of the Grinch from Universal, I've been watching videos of him and they asked him his first name and he said the. <laughs> Is that the one I saw a clip where he was trying really hard to uh, upset this kid and like he's just like, what's wrong with you? And then it it ended up happening. He's like, there it is. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Kenny. Yeah, OK, I haven't watched any more than that clip that just stumbled across. But yeah, he's kind of right up there with. Um, Oh, is it at Universal where it's the crush turtle on the video screen? And for whatever reason, they can animate him. Uh, they can animate him live like that one's that one's hilarious. All right, let's use a little turquoise green. Not doing too much under here, just a little bit of blue. Right? Yeah, crush is hilarious. Generally, every one of his that goes viral, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, that's hilarious. I can see how it went viral. Oh, it's a Disney, not Universal. That makes sense. That makes sense. I, I know that he was at some sort of uh, some sort of amusement park. 
But like the guys that do like that play him, man, they are on point and they are so quick. It's hilarious. I am Suzanne. Absolutely. We just keep going from page to page to page on these ones using them and they are so fantastic. I'm having a lot of fun with them. So Melody, if you're watching, thank you again. Nothing happened. Uh, can we get an exclamation point snap in chat? <laughs> okay. I also made from the sticker club, there was a Christmas tree on um, one of the sticker sheets, but I made it bigger and printed some extras. I was debating about putting them in Christmas cards if I can get around to doing them. Okay, now we're going to use this white acrylic here. Just on the top of the water. Could use blue, I suppose. Like a like a light blue. I had some people asking me, like, if you know what's comparable to the light fast if they wanted to follow along. But honestly, you could really use anything. Just if you want to make it look like you just use the same colors. Also, I definitely didn't uh, stab myself with scissors. Oh, I guess that means uh, I should put up that. Oh no, two days. No, I guess this happened two days ago. <laughs> So, uh, there we go. <laughs> I made the mistake, like, I, I cut myself, but then, like, I was cleaning the car and vacuuming out and doing dishes and cleaning everything, and I guess you probably shouldn't do that. Even when the scratch is teeny tiny, uh, you shouldn't, uh, shouldn't do that. <laughs> you should probably cover it. <laughs> well, it's necessary sometimes. All right, let's do... We finished the barge do we want to do another barge or did we want to move on to a new one there's nothing that says we have to stick to this entire page let's do a quick poll quick poll quick poll okay should we okay continue the barge page or start something new Place your votes. Let's see. I dropped scissors on my toe and got a little stab one if y'all. Oh no! Oh, have fun, Minty. Yeah, I almost picked up this little pumpkin mug full of pencil shavings. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oh, okay. All right. Um, uh, it's about even-ish. Fifty-eight to forty-two. Let's see. Yeah, I'm really liking this one. So I added a little thought bubble here because I realized everything here was kind of drawn about the same scale size. And then we have like these massive clothes. So it's kind of like, I think of it like a map, you know, when there's like a little circle, <laughs> right Chelsea? And it shows you like a zoom in of something. So I did a little thought bubble thinking kind of along that line, but everything else is connected. So we've got a little, bridge another little curvy bridge obviously i drew like the the uh, brown part underneath to make it a little bit more shaped we've got some rocks where the waterfall is and then the water and the waterfall is what connects we got a little little leaf boat so we can go see his friends then we have bridge bridge uh rope ladder extra ladder got some stairs bridge we've got a little rope to swing across and this one has little floating uh, floating islands Oh, hey, it's changed. All right, we got 53% something new, 47% continue the barge page. Okay, we'll let it go until it says uh, 1044. But I was really pleased with how much everyone liked it. But because I've been listening to uh, listening to Lord of the Rings, part of me wanted to do like um, a Lothlorien kind of color scheme vibe or like Avatar because Avatar has a bunch of those floating islands. So we could do, I was imagining something darker we could do. Uh, sounds good, Emily. I am actually on my way to the doctor this afternoon, but mostly it's because we're moving and um, my my neurologist like moved away. So I have to get a new one. <laughs> so I have a bunch of like 
logistical stuff to discuss with the doctor today. So that'll be fun. Um, but yeah. All right. Where are we at? Start something new. 54%, 46% is do the barge page. Well, it's 1044. So start something new. It is not well, like we can't come back to it. All right. Well then let's do, let's do my phone going off. There we go. Ooh, let's work on this page because I really need to finish one of these. I also need to finish that. But again, who has the time? I do not. All right. So now let's do this little moth because it's super cute. And we don't need to stick to our previous color scheme at all. So let's see, we got green, green, violet, red. Let's do, got a lot of blue in here. Let's do something orangey. We, haven't, we don't use a lot of orange. Okay, so let's grab, uh, definitely gonna grab flame. Going to grab the, let's see, let's do the yellow ochre. And let's grab sandstone. And ch -ch 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 -ch. amber gold. I haven't used that one much. That's pretty. And then we can grab natural brown. Yeah, we're going to do something a very, very, very warm color here. And I know it's like, oh, why is she using a handheld one? Part of it is because these pencils are precious and I don't want to uh, get them eaten up by a sharpener. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Kenny. Hang on one second. I'm going to turn on the fan in here. Like, it's been cold outside, but I swear this is the warmest room in the entire house. Just because I've got carpet and, well, I mostly, like, insulated it because I didn't want to echo it during the stream. But consequently, it holds heat really well. Oh, dear. Okay, so we're going to start with flame. But yeah, I have a feeling things after this week, we're definitely going to be uh, getting full swing into packing and everything. So it's going to be, it's going to be a bit busy. All right, then let's do, let's see, do I want to do, no, we're, all right, sorry, I'm thinking, thinking out loud. Let's do sandstone. Oh, you got snow today? Oh, fun. I know the kids were asking if when we move, if that means we're going to have snow. Yeah, obviously I haven't told you guys where we're going, but let's just put it this way. Uh, we are even less likely to get snow there uh, than we are here. But I don't have the heart to tell them, but like, well, I don't know, maybe it's winter. You know, you choose, you choose your battles. <laughs> and if you can avoid meltdowns, then that works. It would be nice to have snow. Apparently, according to the Farmer's Almanac, it's going to be a pretty cold winter, but like mild for the South. So that's good. Hi, Michelle. Came in and nobody said nothing. Oh, no. Well, hello, Michelle. I can see you. <laughs> I can see you. You are out here. All right. Amber gold. There we go. And then let's use yellow ochre. Okay, we're gonna use our natural brown now to kind of give it a little bit of shape. So if you've been working on or in this book, what uh, keeps going off. Uh, if you are working in this book, what page are you working on right now? All right, so we're using a little bit of natural brown. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Were you typing really long messages or just short ones? I know sometimes if your message is too long, it doesn't send. Or maybe that's, maybe that's switch. Oh, you're working on this page too. Awesome. Okay, then let's go back to flame. We're going to darken it up a little bit. Still waiting for yours. Oh no. Hi Marie. Welcome. Hi B. Oh, you just finished this one. Nice. Are you guys going in, uh, going in order or did this page just call to you? Okay. Then we have sandstone. Oh, interesting. You know, Michelle, I know this sounds a little bit weird, but so when I cast like, for instance, a lot of times when Shannon streams, 
Um, it's one like in the morning. So like I'm either doing something or having a meeting or getting ready for something. Um, and if I cast the stream to our TV, cause we have uh, Roku on our upstairs TV. So if I cast the live stream to the TV and try to chat through my phone, it doesn't register it. Like I can chat uh, all, all kinds of like a ton and it doesn't register in the stream. Like there was this one stream that I was doing where I was trying to tell like, oh, well, thanks for streaming, it was the end of it. And it just was not going through. So I like message chat, I'm like, I swear I was there. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if you were casting to your TV or not, but if I cast the TV, I cannot type in chat. Well, I can't type in chat, just nobody sees it. Oh, fun, Susan. Three window panes replaced this morning, so I may disappear for it. Oh, goodness. Well, have, have, have fun. Good luck. What do you say when someone's getting their windows replaced? An iPad like always. Huh, interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know why. I don't know why it does that. Uh, also, I am just uh, cycling between natural brown, flame, sandstone, amber gold, yellow ochre. Yeah, just those five. It's... It was to say it shows in the chat, but you you were picking colors. Wait for Michelle or me? Oh, insulated and leaking. Okay, yeah, insulated is not good. No. Yeah. Oh 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 oh! I got you! I got you! Two or three and I didn't want to make a scene. Oh. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, let's see. YouTube be funny sometimes. All right, sandstone. Okay, then amber gold. Then we're going to do yellow ochre. Then we'll grab natural brown. Yeah, no, you're good. I don't very often um, have to do any kind of blocking per se. Usually my 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 line that I draw in the sand when it comes to needing to block people is when they uh, break the rules multiple times. <laughs> so, I mean, and it's no fun. I think that's probably my least. Why did I grab this red? My instinct was the red. Do I want to do red? Doing any kind of that um, parenting, I suppose, uh, is the best word I can think of it is probably my least favorite part of all of it. Um, let's do Scarlet. It's warmer than strawberry. Oh yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> Sounds good, Michelle. All right, so let's do Scarlet. I'm just a bit of a non-confrontational person. So you know, like, you know how when, when something, I don't know, maybe it's just me. You know how when something like unbelievable happens, but it's like, it's not a good thing. Like, even if it's like fighting with something, but it's something that gives you a bit of an, a, an adrenaline rush of sorts. Um, that kind of cold, cold, I want to say cold sweat, but like that feeling just comes kind of, kind of over you. It's just, it's a cold feeling and you're just like grips your stomach and you're like, <sighs> so if like I get an email from someone that's really upset about something that I did or said, like, that's what happens to me. I'm just like, oh, I don't like this. <laughs> Sounds good, Kim. Thank you for being here. But the lights are pretty. There you go. <laughs> right, Kenny? Like, oh, if you want to wash mine too. I did a ton of dishes yesterday. It was just a really, really busy day yesterday. But it was like one of those good busy days. Very productive. Might have slipped in a little bit this morning. I was struggling. Okay, so that was flame. Now we're gonna use, keep, yeah. All right, we're gonna use sandstone. And then actually let's use a slightly brighter yellow for the rest of that. Let's grab sun yellow. 
I mean, if sun yellow isn't bright, I don't know what is. Oh, fun, Kenny. All right, so sun yellow. And then let's go ahead and grab Scarlet again. I want to go a little bit darker. I just think of Gone with the Wind whenever I say Scarlet. Scarlet O'Hara. Okay. Mm, let's do a little bit of white. Soften that just a bit. I don't want to go over the yellow too much because I want that yellow to stay nice and bright. There we go. I like that. Very, very bright. We're definitely not doing like a cohesive color scheme for all of these. Page for me too. I drove to Atlanta at the same time as Rosalind Carter's. Oh, all the roads were closed. Oh no, Susan. And hello. Gosh, you gotta love that. All right, let's do these wings under here. And let's do these more of a more of a red. So let's start with cherry red. Nothing that says they both have to be the same. Interesting. I wonder if she meant to overlap these. Oh well, we'll just color them like they're separate. There we go. And we'll add a little bit of brown for shadow underneath. Yeah, I love this book. We can just kind of hop around, do the pages that we want. Is it just me or do the, these markings? Like, I can't unsee it, but I just, I see like a derpy monster face. <laughs> oh, fun. Yeah, last year, so we have a large, we have a large Christmas tree and a slightly smaller one. And last year I put the slightly smaller one up here upstairs in the office and I actually made a lot of Christmas ornaments last year. Um, but to make it easier on ourselves for packing and all of that, uh, we just put uh, both of the trees downstairs this year. So the kids have been having fun with that. All right, so that's the red. Let's do a little bit of scarlet. Right? It's just, it looks like a derpy face. <laughs> you almost, I'm sorry now. I bet you guys, you guys aren't going to be able to unsee the derpy face now. <laughs> right, Kelly? can't unsee it. That's what it is. But at least it's like a happy derpy face. All right, let's use the dusky pink. But yeah, there's a lot of logistical stuff about the move that I'm not super looking forward to. I mean, when we first moved here, you know, we didn't have any kids or anything yet. So the transition was really easy. But now, like, I'm especially because I might need to have that uh, surgery in January or like, OK, we need to make sure the insurance is all set up. We need to make sure that we find ourselves, you know, primary care doctor and just like all of that logistical stuff. I'm not super excited about it, but I'll probably feel better once it's all done. <laughs> right? A little bit. Yeah, he's a friendly monster. Give him blue eyes. And then I'm afraid he's going to stand out too much. <laughs> Ooh, a French onion pot? <laughs> I, for some reason, like, I jumped ahead and I know it says I have a French onion pot roast in my crock pot or in the crock pot. My house smells wonderful. I love crock pot weather. Also, yes, but I was about to say French onion pot house. <laughs> so, you know, there's that. That's what happens when I mash words together. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna judge if you want a French, French onion pot house, but I know now that's not what that says, but that's my brain initially registered. <laughs> right. But it's French onion, a French onion pot house. You no, know, like I'm fighting a little bit of a migraine right now. So, you know, that kind of brain fog that you get when, you know, until the pain subsides, whatever, that's, that's what I'm, I'm struggling with. It's also why I was still a little bit late because I wanted to make sure I took some medicine for it, uh, before, before long, because if I left it untreated for two hours, I would be in a lot of pain afterwards. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, so now let's grab natural brown. 
Hmm. It's going to do that there where it overlaps. There we go. All right, then let's grab our cherry red again. <laughs> I was thinking the other day, I want to make some uh, broccoli cheddar soup. So there's this sandwich place here in town. It's it's a local. It's not a chain. Um, but I used to get sandwiches from them all the time when they when I could eat croissants. Okay, now we're going to do scarlet. Um, but they, I can't do their potato soup, obviously, because that is not gluten-free. But their broccoli cheddar soup is because it just thickens with the cheese. And so I was like, oh, man, that sounds really good. So I was thinking I should make some. Um, let's try deep rose this time. Deep rose. I was thinking today, too, whenever... Um, you know, obviously, I don't know yet if I'm going to be able to have an office because obviously we have, uh, let's see, deep rows. We have a budget and we have stipulations of things that we want in a house. So it's going to depend on what is available down there. But wherever it ends up being, whether it's a, you know, we've got an extra bedroom to set up as an office or like we've got a big master bedroom that I can do it. I was thinking that once everything is settled and I'm set up, I should do another, um, another like office like slash studio tour i think that would be fun and now that i'm feeling more comfortable with putting my face on the internet um <laughs> i could do one where i actually show me and not just my arms okay so that is the deep rose now let's go with let's do the scarlet But I did, I was saying I want to be a little bit more intentional with my organization this time. That way it flows a little bit easier, especially for um, days where I'm putting together a bunch of orders. So I want it all to be a bit more cohesive than it is now. Put it everywhere. Put, Put it, it everywhere. What are you trying Random to? This. No, that's chaos, Eve. No order. <laughs> all right, yellow ochre. Steve chose chaos today. Arrange your office like the way I arrange your pencils. Please, please never. <laughs> please stay away from my pencils. <laughs> All right, so deep rows. I can tell he's in a good mood. Not that he's not usually in a good mood, but you know, everybody has, you know, off days where I can always tell when he's in a good mood because he feels more ornery. <laughs> All right, cherry red. We're going to use our blender here in a bit. Oh my gosh, I haven't believed I haven't talked about it before. The new Doctor Who episode. I don't want to spoil it for anyone, so I won't, but it was flipping brilliant. I love it so much. I'm not gonna lie, there was even a little bit, uh, a part of me that teared up a little bit seeing Donna and the Doctor together again. So, uh, right, the meep, the meep. Oh, I want to talk about it, but I don't want to spoil it for anyone. If you like Doctor Who, go watch it. It's friggin' brilliant. I love the meep. All hail the meep. <laughs> well, I loved the meep for, oh, I know, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil it. I was using, uh, using purple. Uh, Leslie, do you have Disney Plus? Uh, it's on Disney Plus. Yeah, not Netflix. It's on, it's on Disney Plus, and it's just brilliant. Completely and utterly brilliant. I love it so much. My favorite part. Steve, you didn't even watch it. So he flies in there. Oh, my God. Why Why are you trying? Why, why are you the way you are? <laughs> to go battle Gandalf on the Death Star. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, it's on Disney Plus and it is just absolutely wonderful. I'm so glad that like the thing with Donna just wasn't a one off. I'm, I'm glad we're going to get a little bit of it. Uh, OK, Deep Rose. We're going to do going to do our monster teeth here. <laughs> Why are you the way you are, Steve? This is a good question. No, 
Ah, he's wonderful, but man, does he like to tease me about my shows. <laughs> okay, I tease him about his too. But I told him, like, I realized the day that it came out, uh, I honestly had forgotten. I think it was Marcy had sent me a thing saying, hey, this is when it's going to be up because it was up at like 1230 my time. Uh, and uh, <laughs> it's like it was it was one episode. So it was 57 minutes long. I just texted Steve downstairs and. No, I think it'll continue to be on Disney Plus. Because you made me that way. That's hilarious. Uh, I remembered it was on and I had just got my coffee that day. What was it? Saturday, I think. Anyway, I got my coffee. Texas Steve says, I'm, I said, I'm unavailable for 57 minutes. <laughs> oh, it was so good. <laughs> right, Marie? It was, it was so good. Like, it was just a lot of throwbacks. And again, I want to be careful how I word it because I don't want to spoil it for anyone that still wants to see it. But I will say... It was really awesome to see, you know, because obviously in David Tennant's original run, a lot of these shows weren't as uh, technical, but it was really kind of fun to see him use more, I guess, updated technology would be the term. I don't know. It was just it was so good. Hi, Claire. How are you? Why is it on Disney? Uh, I assume they they bought out the rights for it or something. I'm not sure. I haven't looked into it too much. I'm not mad about it, though, because before it's been like on HBO and I just buy the episodes, which if it ever goes off Disney Plus, I probably will. Have you seen um of the new series? Yes. Multiple times of the old series. I've only seen a few of them because fun fact there are some episodes of the original Doctor Who series that do not exist anymore because at the time, you know, they didn't know anything about streaming didn't exist. You know, replays didn't exist, that kind of thing. Once the show aired, they would actually tape over the older shows. And so some of them like on, on the actual reels, uh, some of them just don't uh, don't exist anymore. But for the new series, Absolutely. Yes. I've watched them all multiple times. <laughs> ah, you're good, Michelle. Which season did I start from? Uh, the one with um, Chris. Well, it would have been season one of, of the new series. So Chris, uh, Christopher Eccleston and. Um, well, Rose Tyler, but I have uh, Billy Piper, Billy Piper. Ah, thanks, Claire. I was trying to go with like, OK, we did purple. We did sort of red. We got blues and greens. I'm like, what haven't we done yet? So now we have this. <laughs> Up until the like, Capaldi season, I need to finish Capaldi and buy the Jody season. I I know that Jody got a lot of flack for hers, but I think partially it's the writing. They tried to make it and I maybe it's just the time that we're in now. They tried to make some of her stuff very um, political. And there's something about the goofiness and the fantasy nature of a lot of Doctor Who episodes where it's just them running around trying to defeat a ridiculous, ridiculous looking alien, you know? And so her second season, I feel like was much, much better. Okay, let's do now, let's do Cherry Red. I just really hope they did a lot of timeless child stuff uh, in her series. And I'm really, really hoping that they get back to that at some point. But I know the writers changed at one point so, um, I don't know. The whole timeless child portion may be on the back burner. Yes, that's exactly it. Check out. Jody was great. The writing was bad. Yes. Right, Marie? They absolutely are. Uh, these are an oil-based pencil. Hi, Melinda. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Uh, but yeah. I will say... Can I phrase this without giving any spoilers? Let's just say a cute character that we met at the beginning of the episode. I was like, oh, I want one and I want to get merch or maybe I want to make one out of polymer clay. And then later in the episode, my mind changed. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm like, I'm serious. I teared up a little bit watching it. It was just so classic and so wonderful. And I don't think I realized I'm using dusky pink. Uh, just how much I missed that show. It was just, it was so good. And I cannot wait for the next episode. I don't care if I am up to my eyes 
in boxes packing. I will drop whatever I'm doing and go watch that episode. Like here, actually, let's do a quick poll because I'm curious how many in here have seen it. So let's see, start poll. Have you seen the new Doctor Who episode? Yes. No. And meep. <laughs> like they meant for it to be cute. It was super cute. <laughs> All right, Chelsea. Like, oh, okay, that's a that's a choice. It was just so good. It's so good. It makes me want to have like all of the Doctor Who merch. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk around in a giant. Oh, I need to make myself a giant TARDIS costume. That's it for Halloween next year. I am gonna be a TARDIS. Funny thing is, is before I got into Doctor Who, we had some friends who were from the UK that absolutely loved Doctor Who. And before they moved back, um, they threw a Halloween party, and <laughs> me, <laughs> they threw a Halloween party. We're gonna use Deep Rose now. Um. And there was there was somebody there dressed up as the Weeping Angels, but the host was dressed up as a Cyberman. But because there were a lot of people that didn't know Doctor Who at the time, they all kept trying to call him C-3PO. And now I get why he was so frustrated that nobody was calling him the right costume. He's like, I'm not C-3PO. Ah, Marcy, hello. Yeah, it was so good. So, so good. I loved it so much. Okay, well, clearly there's a fair amount of us that haven't seen it yet, but if you like Doctor Who, if you like Doctor Who, definitely give it a watch. You will not regret it. Okay, for the leaves, for the leaves, let's do, let's do some brownish. Let's see, Venetian red and probably Merlot. Merlot is going to be handy. Hi, Ronnie. I know I need to like rewatch it at some point, but. Yeah, it was good. Like, I want to keep quoting it, but I don't want to spoil it. It's so good. If you haven't seen it, go see it. And it's funny because I was watching this little excerpt that was like from an interview with David Tennant, and he was saying just how nice it was to see Doctor Who again, like classic, but you know, with all of the added technology that is around these days, which I wholeheartedly agree. Um, let's see, let's do, that was Merlot. And let's do, let's do a little bit of Mars Violet. Uh, yeah, 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 Disney Plus. Okay, Mars Violet, yeah, that'd be good. Like I said, we're trying to stick to warm colors, despite the fact that I keep wanting to lean towards cool colors, but like blues and greens are kind of my go-to. So it's good to kind of make me step outside the box a little bit. So this is salmon. Okay, let's do a little bit of amber gold. Brown. And then, where did the blender go? There it is. There we are. Okay, and then let's do these leaves here. Let's do them, let's see, let's start, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's start with sun yellow. Okay. And then let's do, let's do, uh, let's do the Venetian red. As soon as I can find it, I know I got it out. Let's see, natural brown, Venetian red, here we go. Ah, uh, thanks. Yes, I believe so. It should be up at the top. It should have a promo picture of, uh, of the doctor and Donna. But I like David Tennant. He narrates Cressida Cowell's books. Oh, does he really? Hi, Rigmore. Welcome. Okay. 
There we go. And then it's a little bit bright for my taste, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of the white to uh, tone it down. Uh, you can also purchase the seasons um, on, like the past seasons on Amazon. And then I know that there's some seasons on, uh, on HBO as well. All right, let's use a little bit of Deep Rose. Because I own a fair amount of the newer seasons because I didn't have HBO at the time. So when a new season would come out, I would just purchase that season for like 20 bucks or whatever it was. Yeah, 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 HBO. I am good, Rigmore. How are you? Did you have a good weekend? Good Thanksgiving. Okay, so there's that one. Let's do, um, let's grab light ochre for this one here. A little bit more muted. And then we can use, let's see, that was yellow ochre. Grab ruby earth, do I have that out already? Venetian red, Merlot, natural brown, ruby earth, here we go. Okay. Question, did you guys want to see, I know I posted a reel about it, so you may be like, oh yeah, I've already seen it. Did you guys want to see the um, sticker club stickers for next month? My feelings will not be hurt if you are, if you are fine. I can show them uh, at the end of stream. Okay, let's do champagne. A little bit lighter yellow. Like I said, I'm gonna need to think of, to do something uh, pretty good for 20K on Instagram. So yeah, I'm thinking like a full set of the sticker sheets would be fun. And I could do that one worldwide. And who doesn't love Happy Mail? <laughs> yes okay all right i'll grab them uh before we play words on stream okay so see in it because i always have a couple extras when i'm all done printing them because i i want to make use of all of the sticker paper i don't want to leave some of it blank so sometimes i'll just print extras to fill the space that's fair. That's fair, Rigmore. I know there was a handful um, that like live in the UK and such that uh, that don't as well. Okay, this one can be a little bit different. Let's do let's do dusky pink. And like I said, I'm already working on the designs for January as well. It'll it'll be nice to get them done ahead of time. All right, cherry red. A little bit. There we go. And let's do the same one for these under here. There we go. Uh, you just type them in chat. It's really simple. So like say it's flipping around and the word is seagull. All you do is just like you asked your question now, just type it in chat and it automatically goes through. You don't need to like download anything or, or do anything special. It's just type and play. You're good to go. Um, let's do Mars Violet. Nice, it makes it super simple. Yes. Yeah, that's exactly what you do, though. You just you hit enter in chat and it registers it because I have it linked to YouTube. Sometimes if um, let's see, dusky pink. Sometimes if somebody else has uh, already typed the word or gotten it before you, it won't pop up. Sometimes um, if you got a word and you type another word, it will you get like if you type in a word, then you're locked out until the next it hits the next clock. It's just part of the part of the game. But yeah, you should just be able to type it in chat. Is Steve. All right, let's do Venetian red. Okay, and then dusky pink. Okay. 
Misty. Super, super D, super D duper, fantabulous, most handsomest hubby in the whole wide world. <laughs> All right, let's do a little bit of yellow ochre. And then I feel like we could do a background for this one. Let's do a little bit of the deep rose. We're just going to fill it in completely for this one. See, this red and orange vibe is like, I keep wanting to grab like complete purples and everything. It's just not what I usually do. Okay, for the background, let's do, hang on, I'm just brainstorming for a second. I like the flame idea. Like I didn't really have flames in mind, but I'm realizing, I think it was Claire, you said that when you came in, and I like the idea of the flame. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to lightly sketch in, should I use yellow? Yeah, let's use yellow. We're gonna lightly sketch in some flames. So we're gonna use the sun yellow, okay? We're gonna bring it around, okay? Let's see, we're gonna do, and they're not all gonna be yellow, obviously. We're just using it to kind of sketch in the idea. Trick is being able to still see where we put our sketches. Ah, sounds good. <laughs> sounds good, Marcy. Seems to be a day for it. Okay, let's see. Bring this around. Bring this up. Okay. I'm probably going to use a white when we're done so it doesn't overtake the rest of the moth because I would like it to be, um, you know, definitely in the background. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do another one there and another one there. I know it's hard to see right now, but I can see it and that's what's important. Okay, so colors for the flames. We're definitely going to use scarlet. Now, I always forget. Let me look up what candle flame looks like because i want to say the lighter colors are on the bottom yes okay so darker on the edge yeah darker on the edge and lighter towards the middle i can work with that i always get that mixed up okay so we're gonna include scarlet definitely some ruby earth okay ruby earth um flame of course be silly not to include that um amber gold amber gold and probably some champagne but that's going to be really light yeah i think that's good okay so let's see what did we get we got scarlet and let's get strawberry also let's see esther went red strawberry yeah okay so here's what we're gonna do let's start with ruby earth first we're gonna go really lightly so we're gonna kind of outline where our flames are gonna be all right let's grab strawberry okay this one will be strawberry you'll be able to see them a little bit better now okay strawberry let's use scarlet Okay, there's one down here. Let's use Scarlet here. Okay, let's see. Let's do Ruby Earth. See, this is the part where we're going to slow down a little bit because I'm trying to make sure I get that lined up correctly. That's Ruby Earth. Let's do Strawberry. There we go. Let's do Ruby Earth again. Okay, and then, sorry, I know I'm, I'm not looking at chat for a second. I'm concentrating Scarlet. <laughs> this is why I can't do that other page on stream because I'll get too distracted. Hi, Julie, how are you? All right, Ruby Earth. Okay, let's do Strawberry. And then let's do Strawberry down here. Ruby Earth here, and then 
scarlet for this last one. Now, do I like all those flames or do I want to add more? I don't want to get up too close to that one. So let's just include one that's right there and one that's right there. I kind of wish this was at a peak. Let's do, as long as it's not touching that other one, I think we're okay. Yeah, that's okay. All right, so now, let's see, how do we want to layer this on? Let's go ahead and grab our Ruby Earth and do all of our Ruby Earth sections first, okay? Going really light. This one's Ruby Earth. This one's Ruby Earth. Like I said, we're probably gonna go over this with a white Prismacolor to make it not so bright. Friend is in Germany right now. What pencil should I get her to bring me back? Well, I know Stedler's in Germany. Is that Faber-Castell in Germany as well? I wonder if when you get them in Germany, if they are cheaper than when you get them in the States. Let's see, Ruby Earth, let's do Let's see, this one is a Ruby Earth. I'm trying to find what I mapped out here. Let's do this one in Ruby Earth also. Okay. Now let's do Scarlet. This one here. Sorry, I just got a message I was looking at. Okay, Scarlet, and then this one. Let's see, we've got one here also. Let's do this one is Scarlet. Um, let's do this one. And this one here. Thanks. Okay, and then Strawberry. I mean, me with my love of Ergosofts, I'd probably be asking for all the Ergosofts, but I suppose that just depends on if there's a price difference, if there is a benefit to purchasing it in said country. Strawberry here. Strawberry there. Oh, we have one down here. We'll do strawberry for this one. Lord, my phone keeps going off. Okay. go this one okay i think that's all of them there we still need to do the bottom here but baby steps baby steps all right let's go in with flame now now strawberry and scarlet are very similar to one another so we may add a little bit of ruby earth to them in a bit just to even it out Right now, they're all kind of smushed together. But there will be a bit more definition by the time we're done. We're using flame right now. Okay. Now we're going to use amber gold. Fill in the rest of this. I know I got champagne, but I don't think we're going to use it. I think we're going to use mostly these, and I think amber gold will be our latest color. And then we have these little dots that we're going to add a um, gold gel pen to as well. I think we're going to do also each of these points is going to get a separate ruby earth but you know it'll have different reds and stuff with it so let's do ruby earth again on all of these make sure this is nice and nice and sharp here so you can get a nice fine point because this next layer is when we're going to start to add quite a bit uh quite a bit more color so ruby earth
Okay, I'm just trying to define those separate flames. That one there was kind of disappearing a little bit. Okay. This one. So you can tell when I'm going into concentrate mode trying to figure out how to make this work. You could see my face. You would see my concentrate face. Don't have my tongue sticking out by any means, but it is like. All right, we need to focus on this part. Okay. Continue that down just a little bit. All right, then let's go ahead and grab Scarlet. Now, a lot of the Scarlet and Strawberry ones look alike, so we're just gonna kind of be spacing them out just a bit. All right, so Scarlet's gonna get a little bit heavier. Okay, let's see. This one, Scarlet. This one, Scarlet. I'm also trying to go around the rest of the little plants and stuff. Let's get it there. Here. This one. This one. That one. Okay. Now we're going to do strawberry. Like I said, they're pretty similar, but when you have them next to each other, there is a slight difference. And strawberry. Let's see. Already did strawberry. Let's see. Strawberry for this one. Okay, now let's get our Ruby Earth. Ruby Earth. I don't know, maybe this will look too stylized by the time we're done, but that's okay. All right, let's grab Scarlet. I wanted to find some of the flames down here. Okay. We'll use an orange here in just a bit to define it more. We're going to use flame. If you wanted to get really fancy, you could always add just a little bit of blue. But now that I've done that whole layer of yellow, it might end up looking more green than it does blue. Uh, I know I'm kind of mumbling a little bit, so if I can't hear me all that well, well, Wheel. Wheel? Well, uh, let me know. Flame. Okay, getting closer. And then I think I have one more thing I want to add when we're done with this to kind of make it stand out just a bit more. Okay, uh, let's use, let's use strawberry. I'm going to sweep this off just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to press a little bit harder now, see if we can get some of those defined edges. YouTube keeps telling me, it's like, now would be a good time to play an ad. I'm like, no, can't do the ads, it's too loud. Okay. I'm going to try not to blow out everybody's eardrums again. 
need to go in with some more ruby earth as well. Right now, this is very, very bright, but we're going to be toning it down a little bit. But I'm working on the definition first before I start to tint it. Okay, let's do ruby earth. Ah, uh, thanks, Callie. Just trying to keep those flames defined before I go over them. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of cherry red. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm kind of just making this up as I go along. So it's like I stop, I look, be like, all right, well, what's what's off? What what would I like to change? That kind of thing. Into let's use the this is amber gold. Okay. All right, I'm kind of okay with that for now. Let's go ahead and use, that's the wrong pencil. Let's go ahead and use our white. How do you keep ads out? Uh, well, when I, so right, like for instance, whenever you hit like certain levels of viewerships, like 50, 75, 100, a little box that says, now would be a good time to insert ads. Creators earn more money inserting ads. The more viewers are watching, give it a try. So it encourages me to do that. And then up at the top of my dashboard, it says, focus on your live stream and let YouTube insert ads for you, turn on or dismiss. So when I schedule it, when I schedule it, I just make sure that the part where it says, I wanna manually insert ads is selected, which is why it still gives me suggestions for when to play uh, the ads. But yeah, that's, that's how I do it. I mean, probably if I was, you know, had a thousand, thousand people in here like, oh, okay, that might be a good idea. But I feel like it's important to build the community first when you get to that kind of, that kind of stage. I mean, nobody likes ads. You don't want to run them off with ads, especially when it's really loud. You don't get that option? Oh, weird. Oh my God, Steve. <laughs> Yeah, I thought everybody did. Yeah, because when I schedule it, it goes to the monetization part. I mean, after the live is over, over it is monetized and people will get ads. But um, yeah, during the live streams, I can keep them out if I want to. Okay. It's getting there. I'm just using the Prismacolor white, mostly because I don't want to blow through the light fast white. I do wonder though, when you mix white on top, now I don't have to worry about light fastness rating so much because it's a coloring page, but like if I was a professional artist and if I put Prismacolor white over a light fast pencil, would the pigment still be light fast? That's a question because Prismacolors definitely aren't light fast. Okay, let's do a little bit more white. Thanks, Kenny. A little bit more white. I'm going to press a little bit harder now. I want to add a little bit more tint to this. Right? Yeah, it's it's just it's an easy go-to. But it's like technically it's covered, so does it still count as light fast? light fast? Hi, Dominique, how are you? Sorry, I keep getting, I keep getting notices and notifications. Some apps I have notifications turned off because it's just so loud. For Instagram, I have like only specific notifications turned on. I think 
think I'm pretty happy with that, but we I don't want this to disappear behind it. So first let's use a little bit of cherry red. White is good. Oh, gotcha. And hi, Kara, how are you? How are we doing on time? 11.39, we're doing great on time. Okay, a little bit of cherry red just to redefine some of these flames. And then we are gonna do something different to our little moth here. Thanks. Oh, the white is. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, uh, I actually charged this the other day. Forgot how well this works uh, when you charge it, but hang on. First, I want to uh, use the eraser a little bit because it has some leftover pigment from, oh my gosh, sticky notes. It has some leftover pigment. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So now what I want to do, and I didn't think about this beforehand because it wasn't really relevant, but what I want to do now, I want to erase the very edge. Okay. Do the same for here. I'm gonna turn this just a little bit. Okay, same thing here. This is the Aftmat eraser. I should have the link for it in the in the description. And it's, uh, right, Kenny? I know, that was the first time I charged it since I got this. And it's been how long? Like, it's been ages. But yeah, I just charged it with a little, um, it's a pretty universal charging port. And I actually just plugged it in my computer so I could still use it. Um, because you can, let's see, do I still have the cord over here? I might have put it away. Um, wait, here it is, I think. Yeah, so I just have this one. It's just a little uh, USB cord. And I can plug this one in here. And then I just plugged this into my tower. You can charge it, you know, obviously an adapter, but I was able to use it while it was plugged in. But these little fast kind of finite detailed erasers are perfect for this kind of thing. All right, so am I happy with that much on the edge? Yes, I think so. Um, I do want to add a bit more white kind of around it. Okay, so I don't want to smear it too much, but I do want to lighten it as much as I can. And so that just involves me going over with the white Prismacolor until I'm happy, or I can always take the eraser and lighten it a bit more like I just did on the wings. But I think, I think the Prismacolor ought to do it. And I think we're gonna use a Sleechy metallic gel pen to do a bit of outline on the edges. So now let's grab the, so is this sun yellow? Yes, sun yellow. Okay. We are going to add a little bit of yellow. I guess that technically already had yellow on it, but I just want to make sure that it's got that yellow highlight all the way around, like it's glowing from the fire. Let's redefine this little area here. There you go, glowing from the fire. And then let's use, here we go, our gold uh, Sleechy metallic gel pen. Okay. See how that looks here in a second. I don't know if that helps it. It kind of pops away with it, but we'll we'll keep rolling with it for just a minute. The whole idea was to have it glowed on the edge. Oh, my head's not in there. I'm leaning like way over.
It doesn't have as much contrast pop, I think, as I would have liked, but I think it works. But I do think I'm going to go ahead and use the eraser and see if I can lift some of that around the edges. There's a lot of, especially when I'm just like kind of winging it with an idea. Um, there's a lot of back and forth. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's do this. Especially with Prismacolors, um, because it is such a creamy pencil, you can get eraser buildup sometimes. So it helps to have a clean sheet of paper to run your eraser on. You can kind of see, you see that that came that came from the eraser, and you can see that it's kind of kind of yellow. Hi, Connie. <laughs> yeah, don't cook your phone. So I could probably work on this for like so much longer, but I will, uh, I won't torture you guys like that. Going back and forth because I'm not 100% happy with it. But at some point I have to stop fiddling. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm just making it worse. Okay, okay. Get rid of the red. Leave a B. Leave B. I may come back to this later. Actually, no, you know what might be better rather than that gold? Let's see, can I not dry it? Yeah, it's not dry yet. I am actually going to use the white. Do I like that? Do I not like that? I don't know. Let's grab our, while it's still wet, I can use the blender kind of shape the white just a little bit. Sorry, I know chat's going. I'm just concentrating. Yeah, okay, that's better. I like that. Thank you, Connie. Yeah, I like that better. But since this is a colorless blender, I can use it to just shape it just a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. I like that a lot. Like I said, I'll get like a vision in my head of how I want it to look, but can't always get it there, you know? That's probably, my head is not in the screen. That's amazing. Pretty close to the page right now. <laughs> If you're following along simultaneously, you know, watching this back or something, I apologize for all of my back and forth. Sometimes I'm just not entirely positive what it is I want to do. Or how it is I want to accomplish something. I'm just wiping the tip off on my hand here because it was a little bit much. So I'm using the colorless blender to just kind of clean up the edge a little bit. Hi, 
Hi, Lydia. Welcome. Ah, thanks, Dominique. Been going back and forth on this guy a little bit. Okay. I'm not totally happy with them. I feel like it's not quite there. I'm going to wait until this white dries, and I think I might make that white line a little bit skinnier. But, I mean, you get the idea. Feel free to fiddle with it, because I probably will uh, later, because I want to redefine some of these... Uh, some of these leaves too. You're waiting on your book to come. Oh, you are going to love it when you do. Absolutely. Just using a little bit of this ruby earth to redefine some of these leaves, but this is going to be easier for me to finesse um, when that white is all dry. And let's use, uh, where are, let's see, I the red one will work. Ah, uh, thanks, Megan. Oh, well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Is red going to work for me today? Yes, okay. So it's just the red Sleechy Metallic Gel Pen. I was going to use gold, but I might use gold for the teeny tiny little flakes. And then let's use the... This is what happens when I don't put my pens away. You should, Kenny! It's so much fun. I love this book. Easily, easily my new favorite. Is it going to work today? It's not standing out. Yeah, it's standing out a little bit. See, and then we can add a few gold flecks up at the top, too. I don't know. It's also possible to, like, go over them too much. I definitely need to, uh, I'm at that stage where it's just, I'm messing with it. Just let it be. I go, I can't let it be. <laughs> Can't let it be, let it be, let it be. I got beetles stuck in my head. It's copyright, let it be. Yeah, I'm not totally happy with that, but I'm gonna fiddle with it once it dries. I found these Target the other day. How cute are they? Anyway. I'll probably fiddle with it a little bit, but you get the idea. <laughs> no, that's exactly what I need to do right now, Allison, because I feel like I'm I'm going around in circles here a little bit. So it's I feel like it's just missing a few key details, but I'm going to need to like stop and look at it and stop fiddling. <laughs> OK, before we do words on stream, I'll show you uh, what I got for the sticker club. I did some reorganization uh yesterday so i've got like it's got a whole bookshelf all of my sticker club and sticker shop and everything has its own uh bookshelf uh it has its own bookshelf and so i made myself some um labels for because i have leftover stickers for some which is why i'm thinking that when i hit uh 20k on instagram um I'm gonna do like a sticker sheet giveaway because I have at least one sticker sheet left over from all of this. So, uh, next month is, I have some already packaged up, but like this is the sticker sheet for next month. So we've got a few of them in here, but this is all, I haven't sent any out. So this is a, a lot of stuff prepped. That over there. And then, Yes, and that was most me. Like I said, I have a lot of them. For ones that I know that are going through next month, I have a bunch of them over there on the shelf, packaged up. But I always make sure and do 
extras in case there's any uh, close sign up. So we've got little snowflake minis. We've got the snowman, penguin, and the snow globe. The snow globe I actually uh, physically watercolored and then I added little details on the iPad. And then this one was an idea I had a while ago um, for a stained glass reindeer. So that's how, that's the markings on that one. And then if you aren't familiar, when you do the sticker club, you get these little uh, cards that are specific to each uh, each season or each each month. So like, well, I've got it all taped up, but like this one was the retro one. October was the strawberry one, not strawberry, sorry, it was the fall one, kind of see. That's that one. September was the strawberry one. And then August was the honey and bee themed one. The July was the coffee themed one, but um, not next month. Cause obviously we have the winter one for next month. But after that, uh, I'm gonna do like a pen pal themed one. Anyway, so if you were unfamiliar with these, uh, I have these over on my Kofi and you can sign up to do uh, the sticker club. There's three tiers. Um, going from a bundle of the two inch, three inch and minis all the way up to the sticker sheets and more three inch. And so, yeah, a little bit, Connie. Yeah, <laughs> well that, and I want to make sure that I have January's already done because we're going to be in the middle of a move. So I don't want to be like rushing to the end. And also if you're a member, this, oof, this is going to be next month's, uh, free color and download. So Christmas lights, little presents, nice and simple, uh, but that's gonna go up in the community tab um, next month on the first. So yeah, loads of um, loads of stuff. So I don't know about you guys, but I kind of want to do a little bit of words on stream and then go get some lunch. <laughs> All right, so let's pull up our words. Okay, and then we'll turn off the music here in a second. Do, 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 do. Get our link there. And we're going to go to games. If you are unfamiliar with the games that we do, uh, you can just play in chat. It's a word scramble game and you just put in your guesses in chat and go from there. Perfect. Slide that up a little bit. All right. So let's go ahead, pause the music and get that going. Right? It's, they're going to be so fun. Like, I want to color them, but I'm also, like, going nuts on uh, Johanna's book, too. <laughs> I might, like, just color it on my own. Okie dokie. All right. So, like I said, you just put your guesses in chat. All you have to do is type, and you're good to go. Like this one is. Exactly. Woohoo! Here we go. All right, let's see. We've got exact, exactly, talc, lace, late. Um, what about, let's see. Oh, teal. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, you can do, uh, what is it? Exclamation point Kofi or something. Anyway, the link for the sticker club, I do it through Kofi. So the link for that is down below. Um, Oh, we already got latex, cleat. Oh, that's a good one. Um, got talc, tail, teal, axle. Oh, that's good. Um, hmm, gonna be another L A one. Uh, let's see, L A. Oh, that's not now. L A Y E. Hmm. L A L A. Xe. There's always these. Sometimes there's like obscure words that I just don't know. Uh, let's see. What's the other six-letter word? Oh, exalt. There we go. Lacy. Okay, so two five-letter words, one four-letter word, and one six-letter word. Hmm. Maybe another A one. But Atley. <laughs> Aisley. Oh, 
Eclat. I don't know what an Eclat is. All right, but either way, skip two levels. Very nice. Although I don't know, that might that might be a little net number one, followed by Shannon and Meredith. That might be a little uh, foreboding there. Oh, oh, it's not fair though, because I can see you guys haven't gotten that yet. And okay, marked. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's see, Drake, Mark, Make, Made. Uh, oh, what about uh, Raked? Oh wait, I can't do it yet. No, okay, Rake and Raked. Because there are no hidden letters, no fake letters yet. Perfect. Um, okay, two more five letter words. Uh, let's see. Dream. Okay. Oh, what about uh, armed? I'm still locked out. There we go. Okay, uh, let's see. Three four letter words. Ream. There we go. Uh, what about need? Oh, no, we already got need. Um, could be a D. Um, or an M. Uh, made. Hmm. Game. What about, uh, oh, Dram. There we go. All right, skip three levels. Annette, number one for both. Followed closely by Natalie. Uh... Okay, still no fake letters, no hidden letters. What is that? I feel like it's it's gonna be obvious. Maybe double double L. Uh, what? Hmm. Willow dog. <laughs> uh. Oh, there's a glow. Oh, Alice got glow, nice. Um, glow, 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 Lloyd. <laughs> uh, what is that? Is it we... the hall dill idol? What? Is... That's gonna bother me. Hmm. Wood Woodgill. Gilwood? Woodgill? <laughs> um, Goldie Low. Gold oh, Goodwill! <laughs> that makes more sense. Uh, let's see. <laughs> My gold Goldie Will. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh my gosh, I haven't put in a single one for this one. I am no help at all. Let's see. Idol. What about, let's see, wild will, wold wood, doll dill, what about dowel without an E? Uh, D-O-G-I? Hmm, gosh, three, four letter words. Oh no, oh, I did terrible, but you guys did great. <laughs> Oh, logo. Okay, okay. All right, skip three levels. Annette and Linda. Very nice. Electra, number two on that one. Okay, uh, there is a fake letter in this one. Uh, let me try white or white with a G. Okay, so we need to clear the L or the G. So... Let's see. Wait, okay, the L, the L is fake. Go eight, white twig with, uh, let's see. White and white, um, um, two, I'm trying to think. <laughs> uh, wet. Okay. What about? I oh, know welt wouldn't work because that's got the L. Mm, way. Oh, good. It always like baffles me when I'm like I'm trying to think. I'm like, oh, that's a perfectly normal word. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> 
Uh, let's see. W I G H E. That's a word. Hmm. Got twig. Foo. Interesting. All right. So the last one's going to start with a W, probably. W E A E G. Let's see. Wig it. Wig it. Why? I should have known that. Good job, Steve. <laughs> All right, skip three levels. Annette number one. Very nice. Okay, there is a fake letter in this one. Um, let's try craft. Okay, craft is clear. So we need to clear the O or the G. There it is. Okay, so fake G. Fake G. So factor. Nice. Oh. In fact, oh no, wait, I'm still locked up. <laughs> Good job, Callie. Uh, let's see. Goat? No, fake G. Fake G. I gotta remember that. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I know it's like 12. It's probably not gonna go in. Oh my god. And it's on the screen now. All right, I will forever be known as the girl who chose that, that word. I have small children, okay? <laughs> Annette, oh. <laughs> Glad I'm not the only one who uh, thought of that. Taco! I love tacos. Uh, oh, what about coat? Nice frat. There we go. Hmm. Croft. Nice. All right, so only four letter words left. Uh, let's see. But court. I always want to do court, but I don't think it's right. Because I think it's a cord. It's a cord of wood, right? Um, let's see. Aw. Well, I know one of them's gonna start with an F. F A. Mm, F O A T. Orca. There we go. Mm, tarot. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so what about. Corf. I didn't know what that one is. Okay, the rest of them are all gonna start with F. So F. Pharaoh. F A. R F A T O? Ah, I don't know what that last one is. All right, skip three levels. Very nice. Annette and Maribeth. Well done. Okay, so now we have a hidden letter and a fake letter. We do have an ING, so let's try Ting. Okay, it is not ting, which means the O and the U are probably good to go. Uh, what about gout? Okay, so we need to rule out the I or the N. So, I or the N? Mm, okay, what about tong? Unto. Okay, so fake I. Fake I. So see nat oh it's a hidden a a hidden a fake i so uh okay so oh nougat or nuga all right so let's do um, let's see fake i oh gaunt that one's good tuna oh aunt 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 there you go Goat Tang. Hmm. There's one of those four letter words is going to start with a T. Uh. To oh, Toga? Toga. Toga. There we go. All right. So two four letter words and two five letter words. One five letter word. Tango. What about. Is Tango a word? <laughs> oh, wait. I'm still locked out. So I wouldn't even know. Hmm. Yeah, tongue go again. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> um. Let's see. A T O N maybe. N O A T. Oh, not would have been a good one. Well, either way, we got our goal, so we'll be going on to the next. Oh, Noda, nice. All right, that one, that one, Maribeth, that one probably got us the two levels rather than one. 
Sweet. All right, we have a Q, which probably is the fake letter, unless that hidden letter is a U. Um, two E's, two N's. Renew. Okay. Newer. What about renew? Renewed. Maybe it's a D. It's not a D. Okay, nothing smaller than five letters. Um, what about W I N winner? Oh, Allison, you got that already. Okay, but it's not there. Okay, so mm, let's see. What would be goner? Maybe it's a G. Owner. Okay, what about maybe owned? Renown. So, what about renowned? There it is. Okay, so. Uh, fake Q, hidden D. Fake Q, hidden D. So, owned, renowned, wonder, renowned. Um, yep, yeah, drown, ender, downer. Uh, Read down. <laughs> uh, let's see. Drown, drown. Oh no, I already did. Rune. Just throwing that out there. Oh my gosh, we need like one more word. One more word. Uh, re, 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 re wed. Ah, oh, yes. Whoo. Ooh, and Dow and drone. Oh my goodness, we we cut that one a little close. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't be popping my knuckles on stream. All right, skip two levels. All right, continue. All right, the answers are now hidden, so be sure you're checking chat to see what it is. We have an I N. The hidden letter could maybe be a G. Um, let's see. Uh, niece. Okay, niece is not it, which means that the B, the S, and the L are clear. Oh, Annette did lines. Connie did biles. Okay, so what about B line? Or is that two two E's? But decline. Annette did signs. Oh, it's another S. It's another S. Uh, Maribeth did bless. Okay, so it's another S. Um, let's see, Maribeth did bliss. I'm trying to think. Oh, electric sensible. Oh, I wouldn't have got that at all. Okay, what about sense? Do you have two E's? Yes. All right, sweet. So sensible means the C is the fake letter and it's a hidden S. So what about lenses? Oh, I'm still locked down. Oh, Annette got lenses, perfect. Um, uh, okay, oh, just lens. No, lens didn't work. I'm just spelling it, oh, cause I am spelling it wrong. Oh no, 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 oh. Uh, oh no, okay, are we getting any? Oh. Uh, no! Oh god, that was rough. That was rough. I mean, level nineteen's always hit or miss on how easy it's gonna be, but that was rough, man. All right, leave that. We're gonna turn this back on. But yeah, so that was fun. We finished up the barge. We did a little fire mop. I'm gonna fiddle with it some more because I'm not entirely happy with it. So yeah, I'm gonna fiddle with it a little bit. Let's see, where did our barge go? There it is. All right, so you missed it. We did we did our barge and everything. But um, yeah, I'm glad we finished it up. And then next time we'll 
we'll do something else in the book. Like I, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Honestly, when we do the move, this will probably be the one book that I keep out because I am bound and determined to finish this whole book. It'll be the first book I ever finished from beginning to end. Obviously I'm not going in order, but still, I can't wait to uh, see it all finished. Um, but with that, I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you everyone for uh, for being here. Like I said, uh, December 1st is the last day to sign up for the uh, December sticker club and then we'll have a new one in January. So feel free to check that out. Uh, Kofi, don't forget, um, members, am I gonna see you guys before the first? Oh, the first is Friday. Okay, well, that'll be the last day. Um, that'll go out on the on Friday also. So yeah, I think that's everyone. Even, just keep being awesome, keep being yourselves. And I'll see you guys in a couple of days. All right, thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.